Hey everybody, CFP Reviews here, and today we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2 slash Season 3. Of course, the White Ranger started out as the Green Ranger until losing his powers for good. Then Zordon and Alpha thought the Rangers needed more help, so they went down to a secret chamber, created the White Ranger. Nobody knew who it was, and it was revealed to be Tommy, and he was promoted to leader of the team. Now, personally, I prefer the look of the Green Ranger over the White Ranger, but it is still an awesome design. So, uh, let's take a closer look and see what all we have going on here. See, his shield is done in a really nice shiny gold and shiny black paint going all the way around. Really nice. Now, with these figures, you got to watch out because a lot of them do have really sloppy paint. But mine, as you can tell, no real issues there. All clean paintwork all the way around. So if you see these in stores, which he's not really in stores now, you can still find him online pretty easily for pretty cheap. But uh, give them a really, really close look. I would really recommend if you can buy them in person, do that because a lot of them do have sloppy work. But other than that, they're really solid figures. So let's take a look at his accessories. Uh, he comes with, of course, Saba. The White Ranger would not be complete without his trusted talking sword. Now, Saba, also done really nice. Uh, one thing that's kind of unfortunate is the head. If it will focus, and let's move him out of the way, see if we can focus on that a little better. The head, unfortunately, is entirely silver. The face should be white instead of silver, but it is still... Really nicely done sword. Um, all the paintwork is there. Now one thing I do have a gripe about is this sword is kind of an in-between. Um, it's a little too long to be holstered, but it's too short to be the fully extended version. I wish we kind of would have got a holstered and an extended instead of just the one that's kind of in-between. But it is still really nice, uh, so you can't complain too much. All the details there, the coin, or well not coin, but the logo is there the strap i mean it's it is really nice um, another accessory included is the alternate tommy face which is really really nice it's not a perfect likeness but is the best we've had in toy form it blows the figure arts likeness out of the water i mean it is just it's really nice especially for a 20 dollar figure you can't complain he comes with a blast effect piece which is okay it's not great um i kind of would have rather him just left it out and gave us the other sword or maybe a better one i don't really understand but it's it's decent then he comes with a karate chop hand because you know he's a martial artist so we gotta have the karate chop a closed fisted right hand and then on him, he has the sword holding right hand and a closed fisted left hand. So uh, let's, uh, let's put Saba in there and see what he looks like with his trusted sword. So as you can see, just really nice, nice looking. And you can see kind of what I was talking about. It's, it's a little short, you know, it should be. Just a little, just a touch longer in my personal opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I haven't watched the show in a while, so I just feel like it should be a little longer. But uh, other than that, I mean, this figure is just absolutely incredible. The best, the Lightning Collection is the best Power Rangers line I've ever collected. And I've collected Legacy, a couple figure arts, and this just, this blows it all out of the water. And for $20, it's, it's awesome. So... Before we finish, let's take a quick look at the articulation and then we'll just take some take a look at some pictures of him. I just leave the sword in his hand. The head can look up pretty far, down a little bit, complete rotation. Uh, it is a little wobbly, but it's fine. The shield armor thing is a separate piece, so it kind of moves around, which is good. Um, doesn't hinder the arm much. It can still go all the way around. Uh, double joint. At the elbow, swivel at the top of the arm, 
it can bend up and down, but it's really, really tight. And then wrist swivel. He can move all the way around. Great range of motion. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention is he does have a butterfly joint right there. So that lets the arm move. I mean, just, just incredible posability in this guy. Leg can swing forward around 90 degrees. Can't go back any. Swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knees. Rotate above the boot. And then the wrist, or the ankle. That is not a wrist. Can swivel. Move down and up. A lot of these joints are really stiff. And it kind of makes you afraid you're going to break it. But I haven't yet. So fingers crossed it never happens. But uh, overall, this is a really solid figure. I would highly recommend it if you can find it. But like I said, check the paintwork. Make sure it's not going to be sloppy. I've seen some where it's had gold streaks just throughout the black. Uh, a lot of it's just kind of chipped. So just watch out for that. But uh, that's about it. Like I said, there'll be some pictures at the end kind of showing off different poses and the head, the different head and stuff on there. So uh, until next time, we'll see you guys. <laughs>